Hey guys, it's Kim Dow here. Welcome back to my gaming channel. Inazuma is finally out, so I'm very excited to make a lot of guys for you guys. In today's video, we are going to do a strange story in Conda Quest. This quest drove me absolutely insane, so I have a guide to help you guys and show you step by step for this whole quest. So to start off the quest, we are going to talk to Kazuri. She's just standing at the fox shrine. Now we are going to use Electro to activate the fox and you can pick up the ward. Now the next step is to go into Konda village and we are going to talk to random people just to figure out what has been going on. So you want to talk to this little girl Futaba. She's standing like kind of close to the front of the village. Then you want to talk to this old lady. Then you want to go on top of this small house and talk to the little boy that's standing on the roof. And now we have to find clues in the village. So first off, I'm going to go to this well. We're going to investigate and we will find a coin pouch. And then continuing on, we are going to find the other clues. So you can just look at your map, they're all marked out for you. It's pretty easy to find. So the next one, it's actually right next to the time trial. So see the sparkly thing, just investigate that. Then go to the last clue and you'll see a bunch of hilly chills around, just kill them all. And then once you have, just go to the cart and then investigate and then you'll get your last clue. Once you've done that, we are going to go and cut a deal with the village chief. So we're just going to go talk to him. And you need to give them items in this exact order. So first off, we are going to give them the coin pouch. Next, you want to give them the cargo bag. And the final one is a list of goods. And then we have to find the chief's diary and it's for some reason on his roof. So climb up and then just read it. So the diary gives a clue on where to go next. It's actually already marked out on your map. So just follow your map. So over there, you'll see a bunch of treasure hoarders. We're just going to fly over, climb up, and then we're just going to kill them all. Once you have done that, dig and then you'll find an old key. So you can teleport back to the waypoint, but you want to go behind the village chief's house. There is a well at the back, it's where you found the coin pouch. So we're going to use a key that we just found to unlock the well. And then we are just going to jump inside. So inside the world there's actually quite a few chests and electroculus hidden but I'm not going to show you guys them because this video is going to drag on for way too long. But anyway we're just going to grab that chest and then we're going to break these rocks so we can get through. So make your way down but don't jump down yet, turn left immediately and go behind the tree. And we are going to summon this electro genome. I don't know if that's how you say it, but anyway, we are going to fly down. And because we've got this electro genome on us, we are able to go through this barrier. So we are going to purify this um, torch thing and see how there is a pattern just under those Tory gates. So we want to replicate that. And I'm just going to show you guys. So we can go up to each of these torches and then change the number. So that's number two, and then this is the third one. The fourth one is actually, yeah, just down here. Change that one to number four. And then the last one, change that one to number five. Once you've done that, make your way back to number one. And then we are going to pray. And then hopefully that is all good and if it is, some monsters will appear so we're just gonna fight them. Once you've defeated the enemy, Kazari will make an appearance and she will tell you to find another shrine. But before we do that, we must, must, must do this. So go to the right, summon this Electro Gunnum and then climb up so you can go through this barrier. Climb up once again and then you will see 
a room that's like gated you can just go up press open and then go inside on the table see those sparkling things click on that that's a rust worn key we need this for the next area next teleport to grand narukami shrine and now we need to find the abandoned shrine so we're just going to fly south of this shrine Once you have arrived, just drop down and we're going to talk to the mysterious shadow and she won't say anything, she'll just disappear. And what we want to do, this is kind of like the next puzzle, we want them all to hang around where these stone foxes are. So we're going to talk to all of these mysterious shadows and they will eventually move to where the foxes are. Once they are at the foxes, don't talk to them because it's just going to reset. So we're going to go down and at the small shrine here, there's another mysterious shadow and then she's going to be, I think at the top, yep, just right there, talk to her again and then this time she will spawn where the foxes are. And then the last one, we are going to actually climb on top of this abandoned shrine, she's on the roof. So just go behind, climb up this small cliff and then jump onto the roof and then talk to her. She's going to spawn close to where the foxes are. So we are going to just go find her, have a little chat and get her to move to where we want her to be. So just keep going down and then she's just like behind the tree over there. So. Talk to her and then once you do, you'll actually get some treasure chests. So go up and then there are three chests. So you can open them up, enjoy. And then what we're going to do is see that sparkling thing right in the middle of those stone boxes. We are going to pick that up and investigate it. And then we are going to teleport back to Grand Narukami Shrine. And we are going to talk to the shrine maiden there. She's going to give you a memento lens and you can use this to investigate those small foxes that are lit up. So what we're going to do is just fly back to that abandoned shrine. And this part was driving me insane for hours. But what you need to do is you need to use the memento lens to investigate all these earth kitsunes and you need to get every single one of them. So this is the first one. The second one, we are just going to go into the middle and just near where the foxes are. That's your second earth kitsune. Now you can actually do this in any order you want. It doesn't really matter as long as you get all of them. The third one is just behind. So we're just going to quickly investigate that one. And then the next one is just to the left. So head to the left and it's just sitting right there. So investigate that one. So for number five, we are going to head down towards those Tory gates. And there's actually one just under the cover right here. So we're going to investigate this little guy. And then head down and there's like a little kitsune shrine. And there is another earth kitsune right there. Investigate him. And then we are going to go up the stairs and for number seven, it's actually really close to the shrine. So just head up and there we go. It's just sitting right there. I could not find this one for so long, but it's just kind of obvious. It was like sitting right there in front of me the whole time. So this is number eight. You need to investigate all eight of them for the quest to continue. Once you have spoken to all eight, 
The next quest will activate and we are going to head to this shrine and we're just going to talk to this fox. Going to pick the first option and then next we're going to pick the second option and then after that is the third option. Once you have answered all that, you will get a ward, so pick it up. And then we are going to find the barrier. And it's just really close by, drop down. And if you guys followed every single instruction, you would have gotten the key I told you to pick up earlier. Now we can go inside this barrier. Inside you'll find another puzzle very similar to the first one. First we have to purify this uh, lamp and then look at the picture and then just replicate it. So middle one is going to be number two and everything else is going to be number three. Once you are done, talk to number one, and if you did it all correctly, some enemies will appear, so we are just going to fight them. Once you have killed them, the Kazari will show up again, and basically the quest is finished now. There is a follow-up though, so that would be in the next video. So hopefully this helps you out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! And that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're looking for more chests, check out my other guides for other areas. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!